back to WTFRC cars. So I've been asked a few times how you set the uh, sensors up or what they can actually do uh, for alarm triggering on the NV4. So here we go. Um, go into sensors, choose your sensor, choose which one you want to set. So if you, for example, had a, a nitro and you want to do the receiver voltage from your battery pack, turn that on. Uh, if you want the lowest cutoff to be 4 volt as we've got it set here, you can set it to 4 volt. If you want it higher or lower, you can use a plus and minus to change it. Um, the higher one, probably you wouldn't use it on this, but make sure it's set higher than your highest voltage will ever be on your receiver pack. So if you charge it to 6.5 volt, you want the highest one to be set at least 7 volt, so you don't get it triggering as soon as you connect a fully charged battery pack. Um, but in this case, the lower one would be the important one, so if you want it to cut off at 4 volt, set it at 4, then you just back out of that setting. And as soon as you're driving, your receiver packets 4 volt, you'll get an alarm triggered. Um, to turn the alarm back off, you just put it back on that setting. Um, external temperature. So the low temperature, you're probably not that bothered about. But if you want it to be set on a high one, so say you want to make sure if you've got it monitoring your motor, you don't want it above 80 degrees. So you just put that one up until it gets to 80. And then back out of it. And then when you're driving your car around, as soon as the temperature hits 80, you'll get an alarm sound. As soon as it drops below, it will stop alarming as well. External voltage, just... Just the same, you can just set your high and low point, trigger points. And it really is as simple as that. Thanks again for watching WTFRC Cars. If you like, like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Hope you find this useful, and I'll catch you again next time.